What is up guys, Brady with Mini Tech Clips, and today I'm here with my brother and he's going to be doing a review of the new Nintendo 3DS XL. So, um, he got it in on Christmas and it is now August, so it's about 8 months later that this review is happening. And he's just going to give you his opinion of the device. Hi, so I'm Brady's little brother. This is my 3DS. Right off the bat, fingerprints everywhere. Now the build quality of this, plastic, pretty much almost everywhere. I mean, it's fine, it's comfy to hold, it's rounded right here, which compared to my DSi, it's like a giant corner, and it gets uncomfortable after a while. It makes a little imprint in my hand, which gets really annoying. So up top, we got the charging port. No clue what that is. No clue what that is either. I <laughs> uh, got the ZL. ZR. What are you doing? So right here is ZL. ZR. The right trigger. And the left trigger. Don't those also act as camera buttons? Yeah, they do. That's why there's a camera right there, Brady. <laughs> Shut up. So right here is the game card. The headphone jack. <coughs> iPhone. Uh, the stylus and the power button. And here, here's the 3D slider. And the other side is the volume. So the stylus is kind of how you expect it. You pull it out. Isn't it different than the original 3DS? It is. The other one, you could like pull out to make it pull it out to make it longer. And it was made of metal, I guess. Yeah, so it works as it's stylus, just how do you expect it? It's nothing special. And there is the stylus. So up front, I think it's a one megapixel camera. And on the back, two cameras. It's point three, which is really embarrassing considering you're paying more than a hundred dollars for this thing. So you expect a better camera. So here is a picture of my DSi. I mean, it looks okay on camera. It's like a potato. What do you mean? <laughs> but in real life, it's blurry, fuzzy, and horrible. And this is a picture of my dog. And the couch looks like it's literally painted. The whole picture looks painted like some painter just decided to scribble on a piece of paper. And I took a picture of it. So when it comes to performance on this thing, I think it is really smooth. When you have a good Wi-Fi connection, it'll be butter smooth. It has never ever lagged on me. It might in one of these Mario Mario Maker levels because people are freaking nuts in this game. But otherwise, this thing can run smooth. And the battery life on I get on this is about probably five six hours. And I usually only need to charge it like once or twice a week. So it you can be on this thing all day and you'll still have half juice left. So my stupid brain forgot to show what's up front. Up here you have dual speakers, which is it's pretty clear and it gets loud enough where I don't it's not too loud. Got the start the start and the select. B Y X A in case you cannot read. Here's the D-pad. In case you can have <laughs> And here's the circle pad. I, I don't know what that's for. I press it. I, wait. Oh, wait. I'm, see, I'm seeing it do things. Oh. Oh, I just realized. This thing is so useless. It moves around, but it's, I don't, I don't get the point, though. It hurts my thumb when I press too hard. Yeah, and right there was a little light for... You're just discovering that now? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Here's a little light for, like, notifications, or it's going to blink red really fast if you're low on battery. So, up top, right here, we have the 4.88-inch screen. 3D. A 3D screen. And on the bottom, we have the 4.18-inch screen. The screen, it does not look bad. I'm not sure what the resolution is, but it's pretty good. Like it, if it's it's probably not 1080, but it, I think it's a good display. It looks nice and clear. So the 3D slider, 
it actually looks pretty 3D. On the camera, it literally looks like it's, it's barely moving right, but in real life, it looks 3D. I'm not sure if they improved it from the last generation, but oh, that pencil moving looks so real. Holy crap. It does. Whoa. Yeah, it, I did 3D's pretty good job, but it kind of hurts my eyes. I don't use it that often. The volume gets pretty loud. I mean, yeah, it gets loud. So here are the things I do not like about this. Not that many things, but there's always something people do not like. First off, like I said in the beginning, it's a fingerprint magnet. Greasy hands create so many fingerprints. And also, the camera performance, it looks like a painting. People probably won't be able to tell the difference, so grab your phone and use that camera. I don't see the point. And also, the way to get to the micro SD card is so stupid. Just having the, the little flop, like on the DS, is so much better. That's micro SD, and the DSi is regular SD. Even if they still had a flop. Like they, they could have easily put it right here or right there. I see lots of room for it. And I think it only has 4 gigs of storage, which I have like 5 five games, which I have a feeling it's pretty almost full. So that it would be nice if they added double, 8, or 16 or something like that. So if you want to pick one of these up, you can get it for 175 bucks on Amazon. I'm not sure about Target or Walmart, but you get in the Galaxy style on Amazon. And some other offers, uh, let's see, 270 which is insanely expensive. So yeah, $215, and it's probably cheaper at the stores, but it's about less than $200 if you want to get one of these bad boys. All right, so that has been the review of the Nintendo 3DS. Um, if you enjoyed, you can drop a like. And uh, this is my brother's first video, so, you know, cut him slack in the comments. You know, don't be out being a douche. Um, yeah, that that wraps it up. Subscribe for more. And um, I might do a face reveal for, like, a 1,000 subscribers, but I'll have to see. Um, yeah, peace.